Excuses, excuses. Everybody has the desire to do something. But they don't have that, they, they don't know how to really complete the process of dedicating themselves and having the discipline to do it. If you got the desire, you gotta match, match that desire with your dedication and you gotta match it with your discipline. It may not happen at the moment that you want it to, but you gotta understand the process. Everybody wants it yesterday. What happens is a lot of people set goals and they have this big goal and they look at it like this giant staircase. And they're like, that just seems impossible. I can't, I, there's no way. It looks too hard. It looks too, too much work. And they don't ever start. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm like, whoa. Uh, I'm running on the beach. Why didn't I think of this? Like, I've been running along the road. I suppose I had to cross some bridges and, you know, get to the island. But the whole point of being on the island is for this. How beautiful is this? And I've got my shoes on, which I feel like, the thing is, the sand is normally so squidgy. Up there, the sand is squidgy, you know, like the dry sand. But right here, it's perfect. So I feel like I could go barefoot and be like very au naturel. But when I want to cross back onto the road, there's the hassle of putting the shoes on. Plus, where do I put the shoes? I have to just hold them in my hand. <laughs> uh, what's the other problem? Excuses, excuses. Those are the main two problems, actually. Carrying the shoes and having wet, sandy feet. And of course, when I want to change back onto the road, I can. So anyway, I don't need to justify why I've got my shoes on. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do it. I'm not really convinced by my good reasons. They were really good excuses. They sounded really good, very convincing. But nah, I'm running on the beach barefoot. <laughs> Those were really lame excuses there, right? Oh, I don't want to get sandy feet. Oh, I don't want to carry my shoes. Like, I got enough hands. I got a camera in this hand, shoes in this hand. What's the problem? Ah, <sighs> and it feels lovely. And who knows how long I have this beach for? Like, let's take advantage of it. I can even run in the water and get like, whoo, let's do it. I feel like I'm on Baywatch. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 they set a goal. Yeah, I want to be at the top of that staircase. It's easy to write that down. But when they go to actually start climbing, they just go, ah, that's just that's too. True. But if all you did was just look at the first step. <laughs> Strapped it in. Problem solved. Hands free running. Well, never hands free. I gotta hold on to the people who live inside the camera. This is beautiful. This is like the best. There's a full moon there. The sun is coming up there. I'm balancing in between. And get on that first step. And then when you're on that step, just look at the next step. That's it, don't look up, just look at that next step. You gotta understand that it's not gonna be easy. People think that it's, that there's no challenges. Again, people want it yesterday. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys? My name's Seb, this is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. What do you think about all those hours that you're running? And I said, I don't really think about anything. Like, I'm just thinking, shall I film the boat? There's a squirrel, what's the squirrel doing? Shall I play the music? What music shall I play? How much battery have I got left? 
Am I hungry? Where's water? Should I get in the shade? Just very simple things. Simple things that are really just present in the moment. No matter how talented, experienced, or privileged somebody else is, you can beat anybody at anything. You can accomplish any goal you set your sights on over time. If you are just more consistent than everybody else around you, you will win every race that you run. Somewhere deep inside, you know what kind of person you were designed to be. If you want to produce great acorns, think like an oak, not like an acorn. Think like the person you intend to become. Every seed has a tree in it, and the potential success of that tree is in that seed. And that's the way you are. Whatever you were born to do and be is in you now. And the success of your life depends on you becoming all that is trapped inside of you. What kind of seed is in you? I believe part of our responsibility in life is to find out who we are. You were not born just to make a living and keep a job and pay bills and then die. You were not born just to, to, to retire and get some pension and then fade away and we put you in a plot somewhere. You and I were born with the gift to make this a better place. Our circumstances and situations did not lend itself to us being successful. Many of us were not raised in an ideal circumstance that prepared us for where we really wanted to go. And even though we love the idea of being progressive or prospering or intelligent or spiritual, the reality is we were not aligned in the direction that we needed to be aligned to go to where we're trying to go. Pelican Crossing. Tonight, take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!